What's going on YouTube? Today I am doing a little something a little different. This channel is, uh, I guess I always have a lot of car content on here. Um, so I'm actually going to unbox and assemble this uh, Pro Gear squat rack that I purchased off of Walmart. Uh, go ahead and unbox it. Um, I don't know, show you. It seems like it's packaged really nice. And uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, box it, put it together, review it. I also have a lat pull down attachment for this thing that I bought uh, a week ago. Uh, that's actually primarily why I bought this squat rack. Uh, I was gonna take this lat pull down attachment and try to make it work with my bench press. Didn't work out. So then I said, ah, you know what? This thing isn't too expensive and I could actually just stop using my bench or I can use my bench in conjunction with the squat rack and everything will still fit in the small workout room that I've got. So anyways, let's get to unboxing this. Of course I have to use the angle grinder. I couldn't find the box cutter. Let's uh, I'll, I'll meet you guys downstairs in the workout room and uh, I'll start disassembling the, uh, the bench press, pulling it out of there, making room, and then bringing in these pieces and start assembling uh, the squat rack inside. So everything's been assembled. I went, to he went ahead and put together this Pro Gear 1600 squat rack and got the Pro Gear 310 lat pull down attachment all hooked up. I've been actually using this setup for about a month now. And I have to say that I am uh, pretty happy at, with, with this whole, with, with what you get. Um, I guess, uh, before I get a little too ahead of myself, you know, I want to talk about the assembly. So this squat rack specifically went together great. And the only thing that my only complaint with it was that some of the fasteners came a little, had a little bit of surface rust on them. And then the other thing too, is that the paint, the paint on the squat rack was flaking as I was assembling things and kind of banging stuff together. It seemed like the, they didn't put a primer on it or they rushed the paint process. Uh, another thing too is you got to be really careful uh, in some of these holes that they bored out for the safety bars. Uh, you can find big burrs in them as well, so that's something to be uh, mindful of. And then the other thing too, sorry, is the uh, inside the tubes they had a lot of uh, metal flakes again from the hole boring machining process. But what I can say about the the lat pull down attachment, uh, the fasteners were not rusted. They had a very nice gloss black finish on them. And the, um, the paint was a lot better on that than it was in the squat rack. Now, I don't know if they were built at different times or whatever, but 
it doesn't matter because you know for the the I think right now you can buy these two together for like 550 bucks. Um, I bought it significantly cheaper. I, you know, the spot rack was 265, and my lap pull down I got on Marketplace for like 60 bucks. So I mean, for 350 dollars roughly, uh, I, I made out really well. Um, this also another thing to note is that this room is only 10 by 10, so even with a small space, you can accomplish quite a lot. Now, uh, the again, I've been using this for a while. The one thing that I can say is the hooks that uh, put your bar, you put the bar on. Um, the lip here is pretty small, and I didn't really like how uh, how how short it was. So I went ahead and bought some bigger ones, and these ones I like a lot more. I uh, got these off Amazon for like 30 bucks. These are pretty nice, great addition to the squat rack. And then another thing too was went ahead and got myself a rope pull down attachment and um, another a couple other attachments that it doesn't come with. I really uh, I really like this whole setup and and I, I I really enjoy using it. You get a great workout with it. Uh, one last thing, if you want to see how I made this bench. Uh, I'll have a video uh, card linked somewhere on the screen. If it's not there, then the video hasn't been made yet. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. But I did have a bench press, which you saw in the time-lapse video of me disassembling that and taking it out of this room. Well, from that bench press, I went ahead and fabricated this bench. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys end up watching that video. and. As always, I hope you found this uh, helpful, educational, entertaining, and uh, take care.